Have you ever like wiggled your dick around your butthole a little bit? No, actually. No, yeah, that's what I've never doing. done a, but, a butthole wiggle. Is this a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Murdering your best friend. I can have love for your dog. Yeah, it's a song about Max. <laughs> I knew I was his bestie. Well, he does what he can. Uh, when you yeah. cover the bottle of pain pills, I was right there to pick you up when you was laying in the hall. Who wrote this? <laughs> Yo, do you forget your lyrics? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't forget them when I'm on. Only time I forget my lyrics if it's new shit. Shit I perform all the time, I don't forget it. What about now? Like, since it's been a while, do you think you'd have to, like, listen to a bunch of them or not? It's there. I'll probably listen to it one time and I'm good. I can't believe you talked about murdering your best friend, man. That's that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I'm used to it. Uh, all my besties are... Three! Murders? Three! Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Oh, he's looking for his word. Can Three, I get a haircut, man? Two. Yuxki. Yeah, I went to the Mexican. Yuxki. What's that? There you go, man. And they it's... got the Superman curl going on, my nigga. Stun <laughs> <laughs> stunned yeah. on these homies. Yeah, he Chris and Reeve in me, bro. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga Christopher Reeves him. One and finish. Hey, man, I had got my haircut one time in Australia, and then... um. I told I, I might have told this story before. But no. I got my hair cut. And you know when you you know when you look in the mirror and it's like you know it's like yeah, you know, take a little bit more down. Yeah. And this nigga's like, okay, it's gonna be 10 more dollars. Oh <laughs> I was like, nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, you still cutting my hair. How you gonna charge me <laughs> to goddamn cut my shit down? Cut my shit down. Wait, what did he cut it down for? Did you pay him 10 more dollars? Yeah, I gave him ten dollars. He bust, he's busting you down, bro. <laughs> yeah, I Dude, know. Ha- Haircut people Hair really can't bust your head. Like well, they'll just t- have you ever gotten a haircut and then they tell you the price afterwards and you're like, whoa. So I went to a haircut place yesterday, that my, my regular one, but the regular dude wasn't there, so I got by a different guy. And the guy I usually go to is like the owner of the barbershop next door. And I looked it up later, it's usually 25 bucks. But I didn't remember. So I asked him, he's like, it's 30. So I gave him 30. And then I was like, hmm. And I Venmoed him the last time and it was 25. Did you tip him? Did you tip yeah. Him? So I gave him 35 yeah. total. But the last time I had paid 30 and I know I gave him a tip. So it was 25 and I gave a $5 tip. This time I gave was 30. He got me. He got me for five. Nah, man. I went to the $15 Mexican dude and he was straight. Except I tried I to get seen, my... What happened? I said, I ain't heard a $15 haircut in so long. Yeah, you got to find, you know, they're in the little pockets. And and, and, <sighs> and, and I tried to get my beard trim. He said, please keep mask on. I was like, oh, shit. Like, how he you took it off. He's like, put that back on. on. He won't let that nigga me. Just no, outlined he, you outside. His <laughs> <laughs> he just, go, no, he yeah. wouldn't let me do the the fucking beard shit. So I did. So he did the uh, the top, and then it was uneven. And I was like, bro, actually, this is why I have the Superman curl because he's like uneven on this side. And I was like, yo, could you cut that down? Kind of want it to be even on both. He goes, no, it's wet on one side. It's just wet. <laughs> Motherfucker made excuses for the fact that shit's uneven. Hey, you see like, what I'm saying? Hey, no, 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 not trying to sound racist, but the nigga, believe it or not, to cut my hair in Australia with some Cubans, the Hispanics, man, them niggas, uh. Nigga tried to charge you extra to, to just because your shit was wet. I, sh- I should have thrown him a vibe. No, <laughs> he, I, he just he was trying to make excuses saying that it was even, but one was wet and one was dry. That's why the other one was poofing out. And uh, I said, fuck it. You know, let's go. I got let's like go a Chris haircut Reeves. in like Spanish Harlem and it was like the Puerto Rican shop. And it was because so, I had like a full beard. He's like, I'm going to do you right. And he fucking, he brought out the blade and he cut my <laughs> he like. a little. Yeah, like super, super, super thin. Yeah. And I don't I was know. I kind of feeling it. I let him go all the way. He like etched my whole shit and then like gave me a goatee. I look very Puerto Rican there for a couple of days. <laughs> now, I don't understand what's with Puerto Ricans in that thin ass. They like lining niggas up thin and they push your hairline yeah. mad back. Yeah. Extra dark. They- they like, want yo, angles. Puerto Ricans They're very into the angles. <laughs> they love them angles, bro. That's that, yeah. like, you know. Niggas, like that thin ass, like, beard. who the fuck want a pencil thin ass beard? I don't man? know, but I, I walked back into my, I think it was like my house or whatever, and Aaron Cohen was there, and he was like, whoa, <laughs> just on site. Did that nigga give you a Puerto Rican mustache? A, a, a Puerto Rican goatee, where it was like, like empty here, like right, like under oh, my lip, my. and it was just like the outline of very thin goatee. It was, and, and, and like my mustache, like he cut like the top eighty percent of it, so it was just very yeah, thin. Yeah, it's like it a very pencil. thin goatee. It's, like, it's called a <laughs> Puerto like Rican mustache. Yeah. Puerto Rican mustache. Yeah, they it was. Yeah. <clears throat> they just like edges. They just like it to be. I definitely felt like, like I was. I was part shit. of the Puerto like Rican Zorro. there for a day. But Max is out here going to black barbers, bro. Yeah. I mean, he he Puerto Rican, so I guess. <laughs> you you been to a black barber, Aaron? 
Nah, I go to uh, expensive ass. I pay like out here. I was paying like seventy dollars a haircut. I've never done that. But now I don't do that shit. Now I got I got Caitlin to cut my hair. That's great. This is sacred space, man. Black barbershop. I remember I brought my girlfriend in Harlem. She was white, and I brought her in, and the barber just went, "No." Really? <laughs> straight up. Demi? He didn't cut her no, hair. No, no, Megan. He didn't okay. cut her hair. He just went straight. He like I walked in with her and he goes, nah. He made the white wow, girl get did out. You turn around and walk out? Yeah, he 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 just said he couldn't cut her. I mean, he just went, nah. And then Oh, I you're mean, trying to get your girlfriend's haircut. My she bad. wanted her haircut. Just... She wanted to get like oh, a gotcha. some kind of a punk ass, like weird white person, black person. I don't know what she was doing, haircut. And so I was like, all right, where are you? We'll bring you. I, I didn't think twice about it. I was like, oh, it's a barbershop, just pull up. Nah, he was not I feeling thought it. you meant like the nigga told her to get the fuck out because she white. I no, he just said he couldn't cut her hair. All right. No, he's not. It's not like reverse Jim Crow out here. Just, <laughs> he's, he's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. She got to go. You go to you go to strictly black barbers, though, right? I don't know. No, Max will go. Max I'll kind of go wherever, but I've definitely been to a lot of black barbers. I remember in Atlanta there was one. That was that was pretty black. Did they and, do you uh, right? Yeah, hey, black barbers, man. They they put like niggas, they general... niggas put your neck back, niggas just all rough with the motherfucking clippers. <laughs> nigga lead a fucking chair, nigga scab the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, it really good. Your flesh. I, I like them more. Like yesterday, like he gave me the remote, and I was watching like Allen Iverson and Magic mm-hmm. Johnson clips on the big TV, like just flipping through like NBA TV. <laughs> I, I must it. say, it a great. really good black barber, I feel the most faith in. You know, yeah. like and they do it quick, and they they have their routine. Uh, but the most comfortable one I've ever done was Indian. Uh, they massage you. <gasps> what? This, there... this Indian dude, literally, he cuts me, and then he starts giving me a massage. <sighs> At first, I was Wait, like, the one in Paris? Were you, did you get a haircut from the guy in Paris? No. The Indian, where he was like cracking his knuckles on your head? Uh, no, but that's like a classic thing that Indian so weird. Uh, barbers do. Like, I, that nigga getting his haircut and getting to reach around by him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. You, but you're done that. Super yeah. weird. <laughs> but then, so I remember I did it, uh, like I was in Nepal or whatever, and this Indian barber did it. And then like he tried to charge me extra for the massage. <laughs> and I was like, nah, bro, like, you know, you told me to cut it. You didn't say, you didn't even sell me prior. You didn't say it cost this much. You just started doing that shit. Yeah. And then he got pissed off at me, so I gave him like a couple rupees. <laughs> niggas got it. Niggas got to cut that shit out, like that fucking doing some shit, like people yeah. to do services, like like you have barbers. You ever had a barber do some shit like this? Black barbers been doing this shit lately, where they do like facials. You don't ask for that shit. They get you. They was like, "Yo, go get your hair washed before you go in the chair." And they try to tag, like, nigga, I didn't ask for this shit. Like, yeah, you can't. Let, oh, you yesterday, he was like, "Yo, I'll clean your beard up a little." I was like, "No, no." Because I know he's going to charge me for it. Yeah, don't try yeah. to upsell unless yeah. you mention price. Yeah. That's my thought. You know? I mean, I'll do, this ain't I'll do fucking, your beard up yeah. for five dollars. Then I'd even do it, but I don't, I don't like the sly. I don't like yeah. the sly cuts. Yeah. I used to have a Russian Jew barber. He was fire. Really fire. I mean, he was the best. They first class you like no other. They'd take your jacket off right when you come in. They'd sit you down. They'd like put a wet towel over your face. Like eighteen dollars. I had one in Williamsburg, a, an old Russian Jew that was right next to my apartment for like a year. And he had a, he had a slogan. As soon as he finished the haircut, he'd say, brand new man. Oh, yeah. No, they make you feel good. They'd be like, damn. <laughs> yeah. they'd, be, they'd be like yeah. gassing you up. You're like, okay. That's like some old school, like yeah. fucking, you know, um, Don Draper shit. Where like you go to the fucking barber and then in the meantime, some black kid is shining your shoes and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, you feel like a fucking slave master. You how leave. would you feel? What, what having a, a black man would, shine my shoes? He misses. Would you, feel, would, you feel, <laughs> would you let a nigga shine your shoes? No, you I wouldn't, wouldn't let it happen. Th- no, I wouldn't let anybody shine my shoes. I don't You're think. unwilling to pay a black man. No, <laughs> no, I just wouldn't like. I don't like um, having people do that. It's that no, shit. it's super uncomfortable. Like if my friends are cleaning up after me, that's fine. But like, growing up, like my, we would have like a cleaning lady, like. And it made me so uncomfortable. I would just have to leave the house. I wouldn't like clean up. Instead, I'd just leave the house. <laughs> it was really uncomfortable. Like the cleaning woman would be there, like taking out the garbage of like my mess. I, I, it was so uncomfortable. I just leave. I got a cleaning lady. I okay. don't know what she's doing at your house. Your house is always perfectly clean. No, it's, it, it, I, I try to have them come once a month just to like mop the because it's hardwood floors. I like I like them to mop the floors and get like my bathtub looking like super fucking pristine. Even when they were fat and ugly, I always had like a little bit of a fantasy. Of the cleaning lady? Yeah. Now, Arnold did uh, that, right? He fucked the fat and ugly maid. Who's Arnold? Schwarzenegger. To my, I thought it was my different strokes. No. no those Schwar- are different strokes. Ar- <laughs> Arnold, Arnold fucked the... She was ugly. 
and That's he impregnated kind of her. Oh yeah, yeah, he did. He got the bitch pregnant. <laughs> yeah, dude, she was got a hideous. kid, she and that kid hot. looked just like him. Yeah. His, his mistress kid looks more like him than his own kids. Damn, yeah, dude, it was which is crazy. Well, it's also his kid. Yeah, but it's got to be like a fuck you to his what to like oh, Maria yeah. Shriver, right? Like yeah. she couldn't even make like real spitting images of Arnold, like <laughs> but yeah. only the fat maid. But Maria can. This bitch made a spitting That's image of Arnold, and he's in the <laughs> bodybuilding too. The niggas like he looks just like a young Arnold Schwarzenegger. You think Arnold treats him right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Arnold does good by his children. You think so? Because yeah. he, because he's trying to do because he's trying to be a bodybuilder. So you know he probably the, he's literally the spitting. He's literally Arnold's DNA, right? Like, Arnold's a mensch. Have you seen his? Is he a mensch? I, f- I love Arnold Schwarzenegger. Have you seen his Instagram recently? No. Why is he saying fucked up shit? No, he just. Damn, I need to follow him. He. Oh, dude. He he just hangs out with donkeys all day. He'll be like, <laughs> he'll be like it's a donkey, and then he'll be like <laughs> feeding the donkey at the dinner table, and he's like, ha ha ha. Welcome to quarantine. Don't leave your house. <laughs> he's he's a mensch. Donkey. He used to be like not such a mensch. I don't well, think. see, he's he's really smart. Like yeah. like he's crazy with it and you know like so he used to psych out i mean you ever saw uh uh what is it pumping iron uh which is one of my favorite all-time documentaries about him doing mr Mr. universe yeah and uh it's him and lou ferrigno and he was sunning lou ferrigno like doing all kinds of like fucking head games on his ass like with his family there like i don't think you're ready lou you know like all kinds (laughs) of weird shit his dad was like you know like sitting there like damn arnold's fucking my kid up you know uh (laughs) And then he dominates. I mean, he was a dominant motherfucker. So I don't know if he was a douche outside of just like the competition realm, though. I mean, you know, I don't know. I think he was a big. I never, woman I never heard bad like, shit in about Arnold. I heard he was a stand-up guy. Well, I, I think he was just woman, you know, woman stuff. Yeah, he was definitely a sex addict. I mean, he's out there fucking Mr. Universe. Yeah, he's got yeah. so much testosterone. Yeah, he's got the Terminator. testosterone he running through him. like a fucking ball. Yeah. <laughs> He's fucking Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, dude, he's got to fuck. Yeah. It's not even like, I think it's like physically he has to or yeah. else he'll kill everybody. You think he but can't? He's a kindergarten cop. You don't think he can pussy? <laughs> Yo, there's this great line in Total Recall where he he walks in and this lady who hasn't seen him for a long time grabs his dick and she goes, what have you been feeding this thing? And he goes, <laughs> and he goes oh. blondes. <laughs> you know really? what? I went to, my dad, when I was a kid, when that movie came out, my dad took me to the movies to see that. And I remember seeing that bitch with three titties. Oh, I love that shit. I was so mesmerized by them three titties. <laughs> yeah. And then Trimmer, the nigga, the nigga was feeling his bitch's titties. He's like, ooh, damn, baby, you make me wish I had three hands. <laughs> You're doing just fine with two. <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. I've never seen oh it. man, I've I want a three titted bitch. The mutant, yeah, I remember that. Was he bit? I was too young. Was he like a superstar? Like, how was he a oh, superstar? No, he was a huge star. Well, right. he, first what? he won Mr. Universe and yeah. like multiple times. So he was the bodybuilding icon. He was the biggest star yeah. out there in the 80s, 80s. 90s. Kind of like how The Rock is in a way, sort of. Yeah, like where bigger it's like, than The Rock. Just uh, I mean, on par. I mean, you know, but 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 there were less people to can compete with so, so like, like the terminator you know, was like probably the movie of the year terminator Every was movie that nigga on was it was popping he was killing it bro like he, he made kindergarten cop pop and that was like <laughs> yes what the fuck is this bullshit that's like that one that, that they fucking mail in danny De- that nigga had his movie about being a twin with danny fucking devito yeah we talked to, yeah is that <laughs> danny devito twins <laughs> Uh, he did Junior with Danny, where he was pregnant. We talked yeah. about that a little bit. Oh, yeah. This nigga um, had a movie when he was pregnant. Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> Conan the Destroyer, bro. These were huge hits. Motherfucking know? Commando, man. When I was a kid, I had to be at least maybe. Man, I was obsessed bro. with Commando. Commando. Man. Who was bigger, him or Sylvester? Hold on. Predator? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm going to say they was almost neck and neck. Uh, it's interesting. So Sylvester, I think, was huge specifically for Rocky. I think Rambo was also quite big, but I don't Rambo think that, too, yeah. yeah, but I don't think that like it was of the level that like, I think like he was turning out hit after hit Arnold. And yeah, I think I'm gonna so, give it to Arnold. so Vester was like, he was smart. He was a writer. He could do his thing, but he wasn't like this next level icon that, that Arnold was. Did he come over? How old is he when he came to he America? He was an icon though. Cause it was always like. Sylvester Stallone or fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. That was like the big action heroes and shit. They were big. I mean, and he did. He did Tango and Cash, uh, Sylvester. He did, um, what else he do? I mean, Rambo and Rocky are the biggies. Right? You know who snuck in there for like a little second? Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh, no. Jean-Claude is consummate for me. I mean, he did his fucking thing. It was a different level. He never really quite snuck into it. But I mean, Jean-Claude, bro. I mean, you're talking about fucking Lionheart. You're talking about blood sport. <laughs> You know what I mean? Lionheart oh. is so classic. Oh. The nigga, the black man that played in Lionheart is the most authentic black person. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Ever. I feel that. 
No, I feel like it's fucking a, uh, a karate movie. But Jean-Claude, Universal Soldier, right? I mean, he was kickboxer. Oh, yeah. I mean, that brought Cause fucking kickboxing in movies, Thailand yeah. into our con- you know, into our consciousness. And 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 the crazy thing about kickboxer is the bad guy, remember that bad guy, Tung Po? The motherfucker dip his uh, hands in glass and started fucking yeah, up Jean Claude, yeah. and he was like this this beast, you know. Like he's basically what they 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 patented like Mortal Kombat demons after they were they were in. So he was the Thai guy who like had murdered the character's brother. The character was like this American who can went we, over to Thailand. Was that? Can we play some on the screen real quick? Can we, Max? What? I want to play just the one segment of this movie from Lionheart. I feel like if we do it, we're gonna get flagged. Yeah. yeah. There's a flag. Jean-Claude Van Damme tweeted on January 14th. Yes, I have a girlfriend. I will post her photo here tomorrow. Hashtag JCVD. He got fucked up. JCVD, <laughs> bro. And then he said, the wait is over. Wife. Here's my girlfriend. He's a weirdo. Dude. Oh, no, he's definitely. He, yeah, he had a he had a bad coke problem. And um, he was in, you know, he beat his wife and shit like that. He was a. Uh, he was legit he though. The people, time. yeah, but the people who snuck in, in my opinion, would be like Steven Seagal, for example. He snuck. Oh yeah, in, I never was into that motherfucker. Caught a little I, bit I, of yeah. I never watched Do one you know who Steven that is? Seagal movie. Yeah, I've seen uh, his like. Uh, I've seen he, he still does like karate and shit. <laughs> He's still on some weird shit. Who's and he the redhead? That, that nigga, a police officer. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he he like records himself doing police shit. Right, he'll just like show up yeah. on yeah. And Chuck like, Norris is also oh, very Chuck solid. Chuck Norris is popping, yeah, very back in the, like seven, yeah, yeah. Chuck Norris too. I forgot about him. A little bit older generation, but oh, really? Yeah, a little, a little bit before these. Yeah, cats. he was like seventies, yeah. eighties. He right. didn't, he didn't hit that nineties mark, but he was still popping though. He was popping heavy in the eighties. Then he had that uh, Texas Walk. My grandma was obsessed with that show. And then there was like this resurgence, like this Chuck Norris meme resurgence. Yeah. I think about 10 you years You know ago. what? I remember being a kid, man. It was a Chuck Norris resurgence when I was a kid because in the fucking like. 80s or 90s they had a chuck norris cartoon i remember being like a little ass kid like um and i had like chuck norris action figures <laughs> i love that image Did jared you? benton with chuck norris action figures uh, okay. yeah nigga i was obsessed as a kid i was obsessed with anything karate i would go to the fucking uh you know movie video store and i would i wouldn't even buy movies i didn't even you know i was a little kid I that's how you met kid. kato right <laughs> yeah, I would just get uh, I would just look at whoever had the fire as ninja cover, and that's what I would get. <laughs> I used to uh, have this... karate lessons from Master Koo, and Master Koo uh, had photos with him and Bruce Lee. That was his claim to fame. He had like a uh, some I'll karate magazine. He was on the cover with Bruce Lee. He was fire. I feel like if you get man, a magazine we... cover with Bruce Lee, you can be a fucking dojo master. Anyone? I in the swear world. to God, yeah, it's a great look. <laughs> I had a neighborhood nigga. This nigga's name was Steve. Man, this nigga was bootleg as fuck. He said he knew karate. <laughs> He would teach me and my cousin karate like outside my grandma's house, but the nigga was like bootleg as fuck. <laughs> nigga was like, yeah, we had nigga. Master Diaz. He was Mexican, uh, <laughs> also a little bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know what it was with them bootleg ass karate niggas. <laughs> Always one in every neighborhood. They, they were hustling too, yeah. though. They had their storefront. They were ready. They were like, "Let's go." I know. Even no, these Master niggas Coop, they had no storefronts. These niggas. Oh, he had main downtown Cartersville. He had Master Cooper. We would just play dodge the uh, the mats. Like we wouldn't even do any karate. <laughs> we would just like well, throw nigga. these little like the mats you're supposed to kick. We would just throw yeah. them at each other. They they Dude. definitely rode the the Bruce Lee wave and then the Karate Kid wave. Yeah. You know, and then of course, the biggest, all the ones. Yeah. oh, three ninjas. The biggest three, pimp yeah. was fucking Mr. Miyagi. He had a nigga doing his whole yard, yeah. cleaning his yeah. shit, doing motherfucking yeah. construction at his crib, and and then then cap the nigga made him think, hey, yeah, these karate moves. I'm helping you out. <laughs> biggest biggest hustler. But it did yeah. help him, Mr. Right? Miyagi. Well, it did. Yeah. yeah, he was a hustler. But you know, he you know, I think that all of these films. Uh, they really paved the way for some of these bootleg, you know, because you just wanted to learn some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After seeing these films, you want, like, and then Ninja Turtles. I mean, you're like, I, I got to be able to do one of these fucking flip kicks, these, these you know, roundhouse jumping things. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Uh, I was, and then you would go and then you do, like, you know, reverse punch, like, eight times. And- <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got big on wanting to trip Did you people. You know what? I'm sorry to keep cutting y'all off. That is, that's that's the thing, man, because I had my son in karate, and it's the same shit. Like, I want him to learn, I want him to do the crazy shit on TV, and they got the nigga doing this whack ass shit. Like, yo, what kind of shit is this, man? They, and none of these niggas are like the 80s fucking kung no. fu teachers on the phone. Well, they always movie. have you do those katas or whatever, where it's like a, a routine. Katas, oh, yeah. 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 Where it's like, okay, do this and then do that. And then it's just like learning the routine and the discipline. It's just, Jesus Christ, I just want to. 
fuck somebody up. Yeah. Or the chi. Want I always want to learn about the chi. Have you seen those guys who do that? Well, the, they'll like like tai chi shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, they'll just like tap a bunch of people in their stomach, and they're all like, oh. He's just like he's like I'm sending energy out. It's yeah, all yeah, bullshit. Yeah, what yeah, was yeah. the Bruce Lee thing like the the one inch punch or the finger punch? What was it? It was like yeah, it was like Ugh. the one inch punch. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah. He did like this new punch. Yeah. And fucking. Would Bruce Lee was he next level? Uh, he was. In was some he a movie ways, star or was he a next level ninja? He was mostly a movie star. That's the thing. I mean, and this is you can listen to like. No, nah, he was Rogan. next level with the karate shit too. <laughs> kung fu, and uh, he and 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 if you listen to Joe Rogan, you said kung fu. I said you. You said potato. I said. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Karate Kid is one of my favorite top three movies of all time. That's wait, how did, how did Bruce Lee die? He got shot, right? Or was no, that his brother? Nah, he had a brain hemorrhage or some shit like his that. His brother got shot. Yeah, but it's all oh, weird. The way was kid, Jet Li. There was like supposed to be like a blank. no, not Jet Li, Brandon Lee. Whatever. Brandon no, Lee. No, Jet Li is a, a, a legitimate fucking martial arts star, right? Oh, the right. alongside right Jackie now. Chan, it was huge. Yeah, and he's Jackie still alive. Jackie Chan's the man. Yeah, Jet there Li's. Was, there was the one. My favorite Jackie Chan was the Legend of the Drunken Master. It's a good one. I think that was maybe forewarning, but uh, he would just get super twisted and be an even better guy. <laughs> well, Jackie Chan that, also did all like those stunts. I'm driving. What's that? I said, that's like me when I'm driving. <laughs> Great. Um, I hammered. <laughs> drink and drive, drink and drive. Jaren, how was your week? Oh, what did I do this week? I feel, I keep saying this shit, I'm going to write it down. I don't even remember anything, though. Oh. Um, no one shot? What the fuck did I do? <laughs> I don't remember, bro. I didn't really, I didn't do shit, I don't think. I just fucking, I'll be making beats. I'm just obsessed with just making beats, and I'm, I need to stop for a minute. Well, we've been talking about it. When are we going to put some out for the people? Um, I'm, After I finish this shit I'm doing for Kendrick Lamar, I'm going to uh, jump on yeah. my own shit. Wait, bro. Yeah. We're not supposed to talk about my that. My bad. My bad. Don't jeopardize the placement. Sorry. Sorry. I, know. I forget. You know, it was my son's birthday uh, this weekend, man. What'd you get him? Oh, super expensive fucking gift. What, a hug? A, a <laughs> gaming computer. Oh shit! Wait, what, really? Is that like a, a a PC? Yeah, he got a PC for his fucking birthday, and his mom was like, "She will go half with me," and uh, I guess I got stiffed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that in the context of pouring. <sighs> <the drink. laughs> yeah, hold up! <laughs> this camera says three hours and six minutes. I know it's weird. Um, I don't know. We got a. If, if you're enjoying the view, YouTubers, uh, we learned a little bit more about our cameras. Apparently, they were on photography mode for the entire duration of our run so far as high school dropouts, and now they're on movie mode. So, but now we're not sure if it'll last the whole time. It might be a short episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, wait. So wait. Is it fire? Has he, does he have it set up yet? No. This was. This is the fucked up thing. So I got him that computer on Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. And you returned it on Monday. Yeah, the shit wasn't working. So uh, I just returned it back. Uh, mo yeah, Monday. We, we took mad. it back. Something was wrong with his graphics card. So he had it for, he couldn't uh, play it. Is it like a custom computer? No, nah, I just got it from Best Buy's. But like specifically, Buy's. Just, like set up for gaming. So um, what's his game? Uh, he'd be playing uh, Fortnite, some other shit. I don't be knowing shit about these games. Which when you went back on Monday, you didn't like get a new one? You're just like. They didn't have it. You had to order it. Oh, I bet he's bummed. So it's not go. So it's not gonna be here till Thursday. But back. But check this out. So we've been back and forth because the shit wasn't having the signal. And I was thinking it was the monitor. So we went to exchange, bought him the monitor, and the mon. The reason I thought it was the monitor is because he was hooking everything else and they're still doing the same shit with the monitor. Say and, monitor. Uh, I, funny. Very pronunciated. Yeah. Enunciated very very monitor. Monitor. The monitor. Monitor. The monitor. A couple of retards. <laughs> well, four. Exactly. Anyway, nigga, he don't get his computer back to Thursday. Hopefully, this shit work. I'm hoping it kind of don't, so I can be like, man, let's just take this shit back, man. Maybe we'll try something else and get a cheaper gift so I get that <laughs> money back. Get an Xbox. The new Xbox is really nice. How much the new Xbox? You get one for like 400 500 That's what I told him. I was like, bro, I get your new Xbox. It's PS5. Nah, he's a gamer, bro. He wants that PC shit. That shit ain't no oh, joke, dude. Fuck those yeah. PCs, low PCs. latency. You can, you know, get you got an advantage on the kills. He's a gamer. I'm a bit of a gamer now. I so, like 
You have a PC? No. So PC's better than like the fucking um. He has a PS5. Way better. Xbox and shit. Way better. Light years ahead of it. Yeah, it's so. I mean, dude, they're so. I was looking up like builds. They do like the RGB shit with like water cooling systems. (laughs) Like they literally have water running through them to cool them off because they're running. (laughs) Yeah, it's 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 crazy. Yeah, that's how it should look. It's like look crazy. Yeah, like red and blue and like and they're like this graphics card. I have these fans to cool off this and water. You can build like a Frankenstein monster with a PC because it's not all like specific for Mm. like one brand. So you just take all the dopest shit from all the dopest companies and fucking it just it becomes like you know uh like a un- un- unstoppable yeah there's I got a, I got a, as a guy a friend of mine um producer his daughter is a gamer he said his daughter goes on twitch this is what i'm gonna do with my son i know we can make more than that he said his daughter pays the motherfucking cable bill and uh, internet bill oh shit via, uh, uh, twitch money what is she doing on Twitch? Uh, She's just playing games that people are watching? Playing games. I'm about to do that shit. I'm about to play games on that motherfucker, man. Nigga about to pay some bills in this bitch. Well, I mean, when you say daughter, I don't know how old, but I'm assuming she's also using her, like, you know, Yeah, physique. she's 13. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's moving not. on. Yeah. Um, so Aaron's a cook. <laughs> yeah. And an, and a what? I forgot the word. Uh, and a host? Yeah. Host uh, with the most, um, yeah, that was fun. Cooking was fun. Went to another open mic, which was a blast. That's dope. Um, I feel like it's coming back slowly, but yeah, it's coming back. There's already like a bunch of underground shows going on here, and uh, yeah, everything's good. What about you? Sleepy, uh, yeah, it feels like it's slowly but surely coming back. I mean, we're setting up some shows for Jaren, like we got a who are coming together for the fall when it'll be like actually nationwide and shit. But we have a couple shows that we just kind of confirmed up for um, for the Midwest in March. So that, that's going to be fun. Um, big thing for me, I guess, this week, like one of the groups I manage that I've been working like a real hard with and I'm really excited about, um, Coast Contra. We just turned it, like they got signed, they got a deal. Uh, it's kind of a different path than some other artists. We just turned in their album today. So that's... Oh, that's dope. Exciting. Shout out yeah, to congrats. Awesome. Yeah, that's been like a year and a half of a lot of work, and we just kind of submitted it today. So that's super exciting. Um, Coast Contra. Other than that, can I, I say, been... can, I, can I say something about their father? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Their father is actually a legend, is a, is a guy who inspired me um, by one, I could say their father, one of the guys' father in the group. Two of them. Two of them. Yeah, their father, I guess I'm right. <laughs> uh, Raz Kaz. Is mm-hmm. like one of the dopest motherfucking MCs from the West Coast, and I don't think he gets the flowers that he deserved, man. Super, so he inspired. He inspired a lot of people. Don't know that between him, uh, there's a bunch of MCs, but he was definitely one of the top five MCs that influenced Jaron Benton. That's dope. Yeah, very strong. I'm, very strong. Yeah, I'm giving yeah. my kudos, my kudos to uh, Razzcast, and his kids are fucking good too. So. Yeah, I mean, on on path to potentially, uh, you know kind of outshine at least in terms of the um you know career success possibility if if they if this shit comes to fruition right yeah and uh and and even is it more fruition than... is it fruition or fruition fruition like fruit yeah not oh. fruition like tuition <laughs> he's got a snack <laughs> they're even better guys than rap like they're also wonderful guys so it's a pleasure to work with them uh other than that doge I've this motherfucker going. is knee deep in a gambling deep. addiction. I fully. Uh, it ruined the Super Bowl, kind of. Oh, yeah. For you, yeah. How well, much I'm money saying, you lost? Just to even like, watch it with you, it's not as fun because you were too so, deep in, ro- in well, Doge. Uh, yeah, so that's been uh, Doge running, coin. running my wild, my life wild. But uh, but it's fun. I'm making money from it. So You made some money on some gambling? Uh, on, on crypto shit, yeah. Look at you told, you told me not, not to, to invest. Well, yeah. Yo, this is a hard yo, man. <laughs> you. Listen. I'm talking to somebody else. Listen. No, nah, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Right, it's right, really right. risky. Um, and you have to pay a lot of attention, and maybe it's I mean, it's still really risky, but you have to pay like a lot of attention, more attention than you're willing to pay. You also whatever. Chances of we him lose, lose lose of Max losing it all at the end of the day quite high at this juncture. Yeah. So I wouldn't. Shout out to my cousin. I don't even know if you want me to say this shit. Um, his wife is, uh, she makes a lot of money and they're about to buy, he makes some decent money too. About to buy a million dollar crib. But I've never seen a motherfucker get so like intensely engaged in stocks 
than I saw Max the other day during the Super Bowl. I mean, this motherfucker, he was, you know, let's go, Elon, and all kind of weird shit. He's got chants. I mean, he, he had literally tw- different was. Twitters pulled up. How much he money had- you came up, Max? Total. What? How much did you come up? How like, much have you come up total over the whole Dogecoin experience? Through Doge? Like six grand. Not bad. Yeah. yeah. Ain't bad. I would love to come up six grand. Yeah, for a week? Yeah. Nothing? Go Doge. Yeah, no, it's been good. I mean, yeah. it's been Meanwhile, he's and... on the side like, hey, it's not it's not a good time to invest. <laughs> and this nigga over here getting rich. <laughs> Let me six grand's not having to stay still. Uh I, again, though, it's A, been risky, and B, the way I've done it, like, I could have bought it and let it sit and then take it out, and I probably would have made that much, too, but that's not how I did it. I was, like, buying and selling it pretty quickly as soon as it went up, like, a little bit, so I was just doing that a bunch of times. Day trading but, style. Yeah, but, like, with a g- decent amount of money that, like, if I lost would be bad, but, like, you have to have that, you have to be willing to, like, lose a nice chunk of money. So where I'm only making a couple some, percent. Shit, let me hold uh, 100K real moving quick. Moving on. Kyle, how was your week? It was interesting, man. I, I went running a couple times, and because I've lost, like, I've lost 10 pounds off, off the new. Stand up, let everybody see, man. Off the the diet. Well, I'm, I'll show you right now. I'm just looking at, you know. You are looking right good. Here, bro. You're looking if good. I stand up, I'll be out of frame. But um, the. Uh, Can you tell me what are you, what are you eating, man? What is, a, what is a cow? What is it? What is a. Today I ate a Trader Joe's Indian food, <laughs> frozen. And, what can and can't you eat? Uh, what it's really just about how many calories. So I'm, I can eat like 1,700 calories ish 1800 calories a day uh i eat a lot of fucking non-fat greek yogurt with frozen blueberries and right. maybe I like go through three packs of big blueberries yeah. probably a day yeah well that's, <laughs> that's definitely no bullshit excessive <laughs> um <laughs> no nah, i you know but it, but it, i'm staying just enough you know what i mean like i'm satisfied just enough i'm not like starving but i'm not like feeling like oh i love my eating life right now you know what i'm saying but but i am so i dropped 10 pounds so far and i went for a couple runs and it, w- not pushing around that extra weight really makes a difference you know what i mean like i really feel like i can enjoy the run as opposed to like i'm just you know just hauling a huge sack of shit around yeah yeah <laughs> So that feels better. So it was, that that felt good for this week. Yeah. Losing the weight. Yeah, man. And then and then our our business, Pink Cloud Studios, where we film and and record uh, high school dropouts. It, we we got a, a couple clients, man. Uh, shout out shout out Punch from TDE. You know we're gonna have him here a couple of days, which I'm excited. Oh, shout about. out to Punch, man. You know yeah, I mean? Is uh he he um I got a homie, man. Uh, shout out to my nigga Nick Grant, man. And yeah. um, Daylight, they come through. Yeah, well, I think that we might have him. Uh, he's starting a a, a group uh, that that you know I think they're gonna yeah be and Nick recording. Grant's part of it yeah and I think Nick Grant's in it and so you know they've chosen Pink Cloud to 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 try for a couple of their sessions and I hope that they do it for the duration because yeah it's great having I mean it's that level of talent in the building and and, right. and you know uh, and be a part of the movement on in any way we can and hopefully you know get some get some rent paid <laughs> make sure y'all make sure y'all tell Nick Grant and Daylight I said what's up man we'll do. And, and best wishes. We'll do, uh, we'll do. Um, yeah, I mean, to echo Kyle, I mean, that was that was a great moment when he came the first time, fucked with it, and then Kyle like was talking to him today and, and they locked in for a couple more days. So that could be a boon for us. So that's amazing. Yeah. Um considering everything else is shit. Well no. You know, I'm just crazy kidding. Nick Grant. Um <laughs> I hooked him up one time when he was in Atlanta. He was recording at an, another friend of mine's fucking spot and uh uh, it's fucking I ain't even get into the story, but this friend of mine was just probably pestering the shit out of him. He didn't understand how the industry worked. But um, anyway, Jaron, your level of you, 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 you have more story abortions <laughs> oh, yeah, per hour yeah. than I than I know anyone else. It, it, yeah, do you know what my story abortions is just like uh. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna a meta story abortion. I'm yeah. about to abort it. <laughs> I don't know if that was a clear plan, though. He, 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 can be, he can be a little clever with it. So, um, um, You got some topics? Do I have some topics? I don't know. I um, well, no, I was listening to Chief Keef today. Um, the GOAT. Did you, shoot was, up, did you shoot up some shit? No, I, no, I wanted to. I, well, I was, did I you used say to, all the N-words? No. It definitely does. Yeah, you no. did. I heard. No. I did listen yeah, to Traffic today and uh, Us by Lil Reese and... Um, just uh, me and Muffin used to ride around and with guns and just think we were the coolest cats. With guns? Yeah, with guns. And Chief. And Chief Keith. Wait, you, you would ride around with guns? AR-15s, Glock 40s yeah, with extended fucking, clips. 
What, what the fuck you think, yeah, bro? Yeah, we're from, you think we're from the sticks, boy. This shit ain't sweet, bro. Assault yeah, nigga, you know how we get down over here. We stay Wait, with them uh, tools. Yeah, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, they, they, would, they let Muffin call. buy an AR-15 from the store. Oh, actually, no, he had to get someone to buy it because Muffin <laughs> had a uh, a simple assault because he tweeted uh, that he was going to get a big bitch to whoop this girl's ass, and he got arrested <laughs> I, I for got it. I got a fire AR-15. For a tweet? Man. AR-15, yeah, for a tweet. He got That's arrested fuck. at school. Uh, yeah, do we used to shoot AR-15s all the Can time? Can you describe what Muffin looks like? Oh, I'd he's love like to Andy Miller. He just called me. He's in jail still. Free muffin. Uh, but <laughs> what are you doing? that's a good shirt. He uh, that should be a shirt for the podcast. He yeah. broke his girlfriend's car windows because uh, like for no reason. He's free still muffin talking shirts. To so when free do we muffin. Get, when are we getting merch? I don't. We should get some free. We need to get muffin on the podcast. Hopefully, he calls again. He from jail? Can we yeah. get him from jail? He just called me in jail. Yeah, he's, dude, that would be, lit. You, paid, be lit. you paid for it. No. No, nah, my homie. Hey, all my niggas that's in jail. I had two homies that's in. Oh, he has a cell phone. Get me from the cell phone. Yeah. He, well, he didn't have a cell phone, he got but commissary he's money got commissary to put in, yeah. and he pay, he pays for it himself to call right. me. I had well, mad commissary motherfuckers call me when I, I had a radio show in, in Jersey, and like <laughs> uh, the only fans were people in prison. <laughs> And they, I don't know they would what spend it was. their money to call and they would it. literally call in like yo you're holding me down bro or like weird shit like, yo yo play that <laughs> it would be such like yo play that Jada kiss you know weird shit like that yeah yeah straight up Wait, you know the worst how is long when you got be locked up for rap and that nigga want to rap to you over the fucking jail oh phone. yeah oh, you ever heard these new bars bro and he's banging like, the bars for nigga. the beat and shit yeah. Muffin would play music for me in jail too uh, really yeah over the phone because he just in Bartow County Jail there was no music so mm. he would just kind of play some new Yo Gotti or something and I'd be like thank you Muffin it was it was like a drug I uh, love these hillbilly rap fans <laughs> with ARs we loved them dude Gucci all of it we would just be riding Welcome around South, man. thinking we were the fucking shit we were a bunch, it's like a bunch of scrams. That's why I love well, scrams so you much. Know what, I, it's who I I'm hung out with. About the South and Atlanta, man. Shit, you know, niggas always talking about all the guns they got, but them white boys got oh, them no. guns on deck. That's a different level, bro. Yeah, man. They're on another level with them. Oh, They're yeah. the ones who organize all the fucking gun shows and all that shit. Oh, though, yeah. They got yeah. stockpiles. Everybody's. White boys don't play with them. All pistols. my friends would, you'd be like, there'd be a gun above the fucking this thing and hidden gun here and a gun there. That's just, crazy. Uh, the gun nut level. These motherfuckers would own nuclear weapons if they could. You know oh, I mean? yeah. Like, they oh, would yeah. life Hell savings. Yeah. <laughs> I want a fucking hand grenade. That's what I want. <laughs> Why? You can get them on the dark web. I want a hand grenade. Case is in case I gotta throw it at a nigga. <laughs> how how long how long would you Stupid. go to prison if you got caught with a hand grenade? A lot of years. Like there would be no negotiate that, right? Like if you saw a cop, he would just be like, "We gotta go." Yeah. He might not even <laughs> believe that it's real. You know what I mean? Yeah. He'd be like <laughs> he takes the pen out. You tell that nigga to hold it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you have to go to prison for at least probably ten years. Which, so has has Muffin been like? Has he? Does he have a sentence yet? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna. He uh, first they gave him a waiver for five years in prison, and he was like, "Fuck that." He held out strong, and then got another waiver for two years. He said, "Fuck that." Held out strong, and then he signed one for uh, six I, I, months. I think six we months. should do. Uh, so, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. So how long has he done out of his six months? I think he he's gonna get out in like March. I think. Oh, that's fire! Yeah, he's he's bring back. him out. I it's, think we should do a free muffin campaign with t shirt, <laughs> but the money doesn't go to muffin. No, the money goes not. to incarcerated. You know, black kids or whatever. Yeah. yeah, Wait, yeah. Oh, I, I don't thought, know, man. No. I got to know what type us? of nigga Muffin is, man. He, he from Cartersville. <laughs> he might he might have been flinging around them N bombs. <laughs> no. Is he an N bomb thrower? He's definitely uh, an N bomb. Yeah, thrower. he probably yeah, he is. He's a he's a his uh Xbox thing was TRT, which is Team Real Cherry and that? also totally racist team. TRT. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck Muffin. Yeah. We ain't helping that nigga shit. Nigga. Yeah, Muffin is a um, really Muffin's a bona fide? Uh n I mean no, he's He's just out, out. I mean, here. he's just as like he's out redneck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like his his dad's name is Monk, and Monk's had eight DUIs, <laughs> and Monk still works oh, wow. for the postal. Yeah, Monk was a bad man. Monk would fight you. Um, how many in, how many M, M bombs you think? How many niggers did fucking uh, Monk probably? What's his, what's his uh, nigger per minute clip? <laughs> yeah, Monk, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, Monk's probably more racist than Muffin. Uh, Muffin's not that racist compared to a lot of my friends back home. People, yeah. uh, I think. Oh, I want Muffin on the show. Muffin. <laughs> so I what's too, it? Like, but, but like, I, I'm curious about that because do you think it's like, I'm not condoning it in any way. Do you think it's like deep seated racism or it's like the thing to do, the thing to talk about, kind of like slang almost. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously there are people who are really racist or whatever. I think it's, but I think it's deep rooted enough mm -hmm. to why it's slang. You know what I mean? It's like deep rooted in the culture enough. Which is funny. It's not that he like 
doesn't hang out with black people. He actually hung out with mostly black yeah. people. You know what I mean? Like, it's not. It's just part of the culture. I think it's like the deep racism of the South that that. I mean, it wasn't yeah. that long ago that like. Yeah. People had different, you know, entrances and shit. Like there was an old hot dog stand in my hometown where older black people would still go in to the. Col- the, the It was like called the colored entrance or whatever. They would still do it. And they would still do it. And it's like I swear to God, they just started like you. You know, Cummings, right? That was yeah. where we was at. That was where we was at, Max. I, I think I said. Oh God, yeah, that place is bad. Oh, they just. It was like that. Uh, fucking. I want to say late eighties, early nineties. Them motherfuckers was fighting for civil rights. Yeah, that place was cr- that place was scary. So we went and <clears throat> Cummings, and just, Georgia. Cummings, C U M M I N G. That's where we shot that video. Yeah, that's where we shot that okay. video. Th- this guy like uh, saw my arm tattoo and was like, "Yo, you're Jewish." And Jared just shot a look at me, and I was like, yeah? And he was like, me too, but nobody here knows that. Put that away. I was like, this was 2020. Oh, no, I got, I got sober oh. there, and there, I remember seeing a church, and on the marquee, <laughs> KKK meeting uh, in the basement, first Sunday of every month. So in a situation like that, you grew up in that area, that vibe. Do you feel left out if you're not racist? You know what I mean? Because that's what I'm thinking about. You know, like Aaron's like, well, not racist. <laughs> Where, who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, not where I'm from. Uh, yeah, a little. I a mean, little I was like, like the, you're, you're missing part of the culture that's there. You're not per- uh, able to participate in part of the vibe for sure. And I was definitely part of like the outcast of like I was like the fucking liberal atheist who like you know what I mean who didn't believe in Jesus and wasn't a Republican, you know? So I was kind of always, but I'm also kind of just a cunt and I like to go the opposite of anything. You know what I mean? Out here. So I you're like not, a, not racist <laughs> because you'd believe it's wrong. It's just, yeah. you're just a little bit of a cunt. He's like, like, I just want to, I just like, I just want to be different. I just like uh, counterculture. <laughs> um, no, I'm more of the Republican thing, but yeah, it's just, uh, but it's just part like that Morgan Whalen. Have y'all heard of him? The country singer who, uh, Oh yeah. Yeah. He dropped the N word. But then his sales, yeah, oh, his sales went up. See, yeah. That's yeah. That shit I would assume that. I swear to God, I, I, I'm telling you, I, I always want to be a fucking racist um, country singer, but nobody knew I'm black. Sort of like some fucking uh, Dave Chappelle yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, I, I really wanted to do an album and just say some ignorant shit. <laughs> I, and I, I fuck, you should do it as time. How the sales go? Yeah, and it come out like, hey, just, this has been me the whole time. They get so mad about it though. They're like, don't call us racist, but it's like a part of them. They are kind they of racist. So yeah. How do they? Uh, what would they believe? See, I don't. Okay, so I will say I grew up in a different part than coming, right? So coming is like intense <laughs> racist. It's not even very diverse. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like you yeah. go up to Dawsonville. That's what Squid Billies is based off of. If you know the cartoon know. Squid Billies, I don't know. it's like these squids that are inbred. You never seen Squid Billies? It's bro? so no, funny. No, no, no. It's so good. Oh man, it's hilarious. Yeah, it's hilarious. But uh, <sighs> I'm from more of like it's more diversified, right? Like there's more just different cultures there. Um, but it's still, yeah, I don't know. It's just. So, well, so, so, like, if they would, they would, if someone would call them racist, they would deny it, right? So, incoming. Uh, well, well, let's say Cartersville, or, or, or yeah, yeah. I don't even want to talk about well, Muffet. Yeah. Um, how do they believe they're not, and you believe they, or other people would believe they are? Like, what's the difference there? Like, what do they think is on the line between, or or doesn't qualify as being racist, where some others would think it is? Uh, like clan rallies. Yeah, yeah, they're like. I didn't do nothing. I didn't hurt. I didn't kill nobody. I, it's just their, um, it's also different beliefs. I did have friends who were full blown. Yeah, I'm racist, you know, but I have people in my life who are like, they shouldn't be taking a knee or what, you know what I mean? And it's like clearly some gotcha. race. I mean, even Morgan Whalen, if you drop the N word and then your sales fucking boom, like, yeah, there's something to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, and also, clearly, the N word wasn't going to stop country sales. <laughs> they should have tried to cancel oh, somebody yeah. else. Like, that's yeah. going to be a, but I, yeah, I don't know. I just think it's, um, well, what I imagine in a situation like Waylon is he drops it, the controversy in the media hits so that the platform is expanded. Right. And then, you know, all of the fuck. Oh, who's this who, guy? Let's go check him out. Then they can check him out and yeah. the race, you know, it, it can just, open up a rock and all the people crawl out and buy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, but yeah, I think the, I mean, I think the South is just, I think it's like deep rooted. I mean, I think that's how they got like the poor whites to feel better about themselves was they were like look at the you're not the slaves you know what i mean you're better than this you're the yeah. you know and it's like oh yeah well i, I mean it's, 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 it's deep i mean yeah, I mean, yeah it's you, just i mean you know birth of a nation level where it's like they propagandized free black men as you know rapists coming after the white woman and that the you know and this is the film and this was the first lo- feature film in like cinema history and that was like over an hour or something <laughs> that's right? great yeah, white people love doing this shit man back they always like 
They did it with a bunch of, they did it with the uh, Asians too when they came to the States. Like they would always use that, they're gonna rape white women shit. Like, because white women, they had the opium dens, opium dens and white women, you know, was a lot of, a lot of the people that was mostly addicted to um, heroin and opiates back in the day were white women, um, but it was legal. But it was like all the housewives was getting addicted to them. So when the Asians moved down here, um, they was having a bunch of opium dens and all the white women was going there. So the fucking white man put out his fucking these Asians are rapists. They're going to rape white women campaign to stop them. Um, Mm -hmm. That's an old trick. (laughs) They do all all with the rape shit. They do with the 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 Mexican stuff, too. They're like the rapists are coming in. But in the Birth of a Nation, the heroes of the film are the KKK. So it's legitimately a KKK propaganda film. The KKK come and save the white women from the the freed slave rapist black man crazy uh-huh. I mean, and the black hey, men are played by white men in blackface it's fucking yeah insane, this, it's sick as fuck <laughs> hey white men this is a fucking news flash uh you women love being raped by us apparently <laughs> that, actually so that's interesting that's, a, that, that's, well, an that's interesting a piece. that's a clip um so in um <laughs> Well, that was Bill Burr's joke too, by the way, where he was like, "Oh, okay, white women stop blaming everything on us white men." You'd uh, every time you'd get caught fucking a black guy, you just say it wasn't consensual, yeah. and that's how. Well, that's yeah. I mean, that's a classic thing that went down as yeah, well. Yeah, no, yeah. Exactly. Yo, was that Cartersville? What was that? It was somewhere in Georgia where the white girls is like this wasn't that long ago. I feel like it happened like maybe in the nineties. Um, she was fucking this dude on a football team or something. And she didn't want her parents to know, and she said the nigga raped her, and she went to, he went to jail, and she ended up like. You know, I think I feel like she ended up confessing and saying he didn't rape her. She was just like, I feel like that happens a lot. Yeah, know. that's a real, real deal, especially with that. that. I mean, actually, happened to my brother yeah. in 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 high school. I mean, it happens. It happens, bro, a lot. Yeah. Um, but actually, interesting what you were saying, Jaron, because uh, Eldred's Cleaver, right? Uh, Soul on Ice, and he was one of the, yeah. uh, the Black Panther uh, the leaders. Uh, he basically writes that he was put uh, he was put away for rape, um, and he writes about uh, how he believes. In, during the times when he was in jail that like white women ultimately want to be raped by black men uh, as like penance for slavery and that black men actually want their women to, I mean that white men actually want their women to be raped by black as penance, like as some deep seated, like, you know, we know we fucked up on a soul level and this is what, and that, that it should, it's really gangster, really crazy. I mean, that is interesting though. It was an interesting concept. I mean, I, well, I, you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 obviously yeah. it's out of its mind and he was kind of out of his mind when he was doing this shit, but like he kind of, he was also very intelligent and used that philosophy philosophy you know to, to kind of like justify shit um i'm gonna say some personal shit so uh i dated a white girl and she had dealt with some you know issues some uh, uh assault issues and um she had a therapist who recommended that she read that <laughs> i'm a black man dating a wow. white woman. I'm like, I'm, and she brought it up to me i was like and i lost i like lost my shit yeah that's that was like yeah. a definite Hey, tough moment for the crowd, race. I was honestly being sarcastic <laughs> when I said white women like us to rape. I was saying that by actually, if, if you're stupid and you took it from face value, I was saying that they like fucking niggas. So, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. that's what, what is up with it. the white dudes and cucking though? They do love to be cucking. They right? love, yo, that's so what weird. What's up with that, that shit? Know. There's not a lot of other uh, races doing <laughs> cuckolding other than uh-huh. white guys. Love. But I tell you some really? crazy shit. Yeah. Somebody was telling me that like the, black uh, the people in Dubai, in the... I think my homie Els is t- telling me this shit that do I could be wrong. I'm literally just uh, <laughs> we know. saying some <laughs> shit that I was told. Listen, hey, they said that the guys in Dubai, you know, it's strict over there. Like you can't be gay or all that shit. It was like they fly over. They had this thing for redhead white guys and they fuck them. It's some weird shit. I've never heard it, but someone told me that. Gay dudes do love redheads. That is true. Really? They love Ginger? Them. Gingers. They love the redheads for some reason. Well, I think gingers in general get are, are beloved. Really? Ah. Yeah. I think uh, ginger women are beloved. Depends on how ginger they are. You know, like the full blown where they got that like they all look the same. That what that like uh you know nothing, Jon Snow. Yeah, so that type I, of ginger yeah. bitch. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They be getting that they No, be... they'd be fire, but there's some of them though that look like a little much. Yeah, a little Kathy too Griffith. I don't Griffin? know. Griffin? I, I, I'll I don't smash really Kathy Griffin. I would I too. I, I wouldn't. I don't know, oh, man. Yeah. yeah, you would. You would fuck sure. Kathy Griffin. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I'll Ginger's gonna love Kathy Griffin. Really? No. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right now? Definitely not. Yeah, I fuck her right now. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Fine. Kathy. Wait, you said you don't know. You know who we're talking about? I know who she is. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I just can't really get an image as to whether or not I would fuck her. 
Speaking of that, I want to say some more unpopular shit. What? Well, I'm not going to make you cut this, Max. I promise you. <laughs> what are you going to say? Um, Instagram, man, is... Uh, I'm a little tipsy, so I'm feeling it a little bit. <laughs> well, Instagram is fooling people, man. And I mean that to say I, I'm so, so with, cool. like, taking pride of your body and taking pride of your looks. But a lot of y'all bitches that be posting all these fucking pictures is like everybody want to be in fucking lingerie and put it out there. And I just hate this fucking sport of party, but some of y'all bitches ain't got it. <laughs> you I'm know, have I, to just be honest. I, y'all I, bitches, some of y'all bitches got to put your clothes on. That shit is unflattering. That's a no for me, dog. Randy motherfucking Jackson. Is, no. Is Put your clothes on, bitch. <laughs> oh, he's getting a little saucy. Is there any... Yeah. I want to know, is there any conservative take? Because that's a very conservative take. You know what I mean? Where it's like, uh, hey, put you your like, clothes on. You sound like a Muslim, like, like, a, like, a, like a fucking... What, 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 like ISIS out here. Yeah, or, or like, like, <laughs> like even, even, even like... A, like Elvis, like, oh, like, don't move your hips like that. You know what I mean? Or whatever. They wouldn't show people mm-hmm. a butt. They would be like, that's too scandalous. Is there ever a conservative take that ends up being right? Because we always kind of end up progressing, right? Like it always like be like, like Elvis was, right. was too much, right? And then, but now it's like Miley Cyrus will fucking grind on somebody on live TV, you know? But I wonder if. Yeah, I'm I, sure. I don't think. Go ahead. Well, I, I don't know that it's a matter of right and wrong. I think, you know, something that was wrong 100 years ago may or may not be wrong today. I mean, certain things I think we get better at and we learn. Um, and I think I, I think it's relative to the times. Like, how much are you rebelling? It's definitely a thing, right? So, like, if you're doing something that's super out of pocket relative to your time, that might be a sign of some other unhealthy or healthy, whatever, reaction to this stuff. I also think, um, specifically with sex stuff, like, I think there's different things, like, you know, race things change over time. Sex stuff changes over time. Some stuff doesn't like murder, steal. You know that that's age old, like Old Testament. What in older? I'm sure shit. Um, sex shit, I think, is weird because like I don't think it's a right or wrong thing. I think it's a comfort thing. And then what twists it up is religion. So like, I, like okay, so growing up Orthodox, like, and you know, in my uh, youth, like boys and girls didn't touch. Girls like wore like pretty fucking modest ass clothing and like over time i don't think that that i don't think that's wrong where like i think saying like moving your hip like that is bad is wrong but like following the rules aren't wrong either in that way i don't think i don't know it depends on you know the the, the human suffering involved i mean you know obviously you've had some really extreme situations uh in the in the islamic world where you know and some people might argue and people do argue like oh we like having this burqa with the fucking screen here you know but like uh, you know like yeah. if you really gave like the, the 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 serotonin level of a woman who's you know not able to ever leave the house and you know what i'm saying in yeah, that yeah, extreme yeah. situation versus someone who has a little bit more of their own fucking autonomy you you know, it's not going to measure up. So, yeah, you know, I think that that situation you can kind of maybe make some sort of moralistic, you know, judgment to a certain degree on. You're like, yo, you're treating this woman like she's a fucking, you know, yeah. pet. You know, yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah. you know, so so I think it depends on those situations. But as you get less and less extreme, I think it blurs more. I wonder if we uh, if we're going to like check I, your phone, Max, your email, I mean, your text. Did all those. um did all those great civilizations, did they get too horny? Like, didn't ancient Greece and ancient Rome, weren't they fucking? Yeah, they Egypt was fucking. fucking. Yeah. Maybe, like, yeah, that's why the dudes. Hey, oh, they were fucking hey, boys. Yeah, the Rome's like dudes. Hey, let me say this, too. Um, I was boys. not saying anything, like, when I meant that comment. I wasn't saying anything about, like, We're not Rome. cutting it, so. I'm saying, y'all, no, I'm, um, I'm saying you bitches are out of shape. Get your shit together. Did you see, <laughs> did you see the Much one? Much better. <laughs> did you see the one where the, uh, <laughs> have you seen the silhouette challenge? Oh, yeah, the, yeah, 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 Have you seen the guys? Yeah. Uh, filtering out the red and they're getting the image of that's supposed to be blacked out and they're seeing a lot of these girls are actually naked in the silhouette Wait, challenge what? oh that's awesome we'll so it's like a red filter right like it's i don't have you seen it at all? yeah i've seen yeah, it yeah, yeah. it's like boom and then all of a sudden it's like oh this, someone's like, like the strip dark, club red yeah vibes, it's like this yeah. like dark vibe and you can't see her but they filtered out the red through some computer program and they're just seeing people be fully ass naked that's lovely that's interesting. It's against their will, but yeah, it's what TikTok well, I mean, is the horny, the horniest of horny. I think Jesus, I mean, well stopped. It's against their will, but like they're the ones who fucking put a naked picture up. Yeah, so it's, I don't know if it's you. against their will. It is their will. It, 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 it is, you know, uh, except for the fact that they thought the red was going to protect them. 
Yeah, I'm gonna sound like, like old I don't know what. What's I'm gonna sound like a real old nigga right now, but oh, I swear, like I don't know. It's just getting to for me. I feel like shit is getting overwhelming with like just everybody. Everybody naturally wants attention, mm-hmm. but I'm saying sometimes it just get overwhelming to yeah. be looking at it. Sometimes it's like yo, everyone just doing so much for attention. It's just it's making me feel a little nauseous. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like it's it, the shit just feel disingenuous, and like everyone is just. I don't know. Everybody Everyone's too thinks, horny. Keep there's, it in well, your there's pants. high levels of narcissism and there's high yes. levels of people getting their validation through like someone liking their physical image or, you know, checking like about their physical image, you know. And I don't fuck with it either. It's yeah. low class. Yeah, it, it's doing it, it, I don't I don't like it, bro. It's like it's making me like want to tune the fuck out. Could you date a girl who had a OnlyFans? I could date her, but she got I gotta know what she is. Like when I say that, like her position, if I meet her from that position. That's how it's going to be. Yeah. But at the risk of saying something rel- relatively snowflakey, um, we're, we, we as men, we are playing with five fouls, right? So what I mean by that is that we've been the ones who've been, you know, the pieces of shit, you know, dominating women on, on, on so many levels, restricting their rights, you know, for the most part. And so, like, it's hard. Like, we, when we criticize them, it's kind of like at the end of the day, like we don't really have that much of a leg to stand on. So they're not, I'm not saying that we're not right at times. Like I believe, I, I agree with you hundred percent, but, but what I think is it's hard for them to hear. They're not going to fucking listen, you know, cause they're like, what the, who the fuck are you to tell me? I'm, you know, shouldn't be na- what anything, you know what I mean? So I feel like it, that's where it gets tricky. Cause I, I agree with you, but, but it's hard to access in this situation. So when I tell, tell a woman this type of shit, they always fucking puff their chest up, even if they got no breasts. It's a weird, it's a reason women don't run a world because they make stupid fucking decisions. So uh, <laughs> listen right. to us, girls. No, don't I, cut this. I agree with Kyle on that. I think uh, in terms of the question, could you date someone with one? I think if she were like, if she could explain it in a way that was kind of sun in me, like it was like, no, it's okay because like, you know, X, Y, and Z, and like I I could res, res- and I respected her brain and you know. Why she would do it, whatever? Yeah, I think so. It would be hard because I'm, it's but that's tricky. my shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because it's like my jealousy or whatever. Like I, I think I. There's a couple things like, okay, I, I mean, because there's levels to it, right? Like, do you want a girl that dress modestly or like pretty sexy? Like I've I've actually dated kind of both, and like, I kind of fuck with both for different reasons, right? Um. Like I like I think I'm it's, a, I think it's like, a time and a fucking place. I'm gonna be honest with you. No, and, and I feel you, but it's also kind of up to them. But but I think that you know our brain automatically goes to oh you do this uh, because you can't do that or choose not to do that or it's, it's some combination of like um well, like airheady and or lazy. But like I think that you know if I knew that that wasn't that it wasn't either of those things, I could probably come around to doing it. I don't know. I think there's always like sacrifice, you know, in anything in life. Anything that I've ever gotten in life that's good or worthwhile takes some bit of sacrifice, right? There's a give and take. I think that's what's weird sometimes about the sex stuff and stuff is because you can't compete. It's almost like a win-win, you know what I mean? Mm. Kind of like, you know, gay dudes on Grinder. Like they just get to fuck whoever. <laughs> and they do have consequences, right? With like other stuff AIDS. But, like, AIDS, yeah, that one. <laughs> but they're beating it with prep so they're actually getting ahead of that one so uh well i will tell you why i think the losses and we've touched on it in prior episodes the losses they become so reliant on that physical image that once that shit fades you don't have nothing else to fall back on yeah and that's when oh, you start gonna... getting the work done and looking like a ghoul well so that's kind of what <laughs> yeah. i was getting at is like if it wasn't j- like if that was one of the many things they had going on in their lives like that would be different than if, like, that's their life. Like, they're fucking super hot. They have OnlyFans and other than that, they're like, kick it. You know what and that's what I like, mean okay, by that's when not, I say I got to know their position. Because if I meet a chick, if I met a porn star and I knew she was a porn star from the beginning, how I go into a relationship is going to be completely different how I would go into a relationship with a female that's not, that doesn't do anything like that. It's like, once I know that's who you are and that's what you do, I can transform my brain to deal with it and look at you like that. And I'm going to handle the relationship accordingly to how it's going to be the best for me to d- deal with that. Like I can't, I'm not going to get jealous. I'm not, you're not going to get that close to me. I'm always going to think that I don't trust this bitch. And I'm just going to look at this chick. Like she's just a fucking, you know, just a, a thought she out there doing a thing, but I can still maintain a good relationship 
and I can keep that in my head. Long as I know that's what it is, we can still have a relationship. So I wouldn't go that far with me. I I think it's a little bit different. I I, I think, again, the two issues for me would be dealing with my own like jealousy around it, which would be a big component. And then in terms of them, it wouldn't be so much what they're doing is like, is it instead like, is there other shit missing? But like, I it was interesting because like me and Jaren did this Pornhub or Pornhub. What, what was it? You porn award, Pornhub awards. We did and like the we met awards. what? Yeah, you went the to the Pornhub. Porn yeah, and we like met a few porn stars, and a couple of them like just talking to them for like a little bit. were like clearly like I don't know. We're like full beings, and, and they were like smart, and I, I mean not that they wouldn't be, but like I think as a fucking pig headed dude you kind of just think like they're porn stars and that's what they are they're just porn stars but like no like we got to know a couple little bit and it was like oh they were like interesting and attentive and interested and like you could have a real conversation about whatever with and it was like oh yeah they're just fucking people and that happens to be what they do and it was like obviously that's true but like somehow i'm still surprised at that a little bit which is like i think my shit i think we as men need pussies I think that that should be the next evolution is that no, men have pussies. Yes. And here's why. Now uh, you're upsetting, Jared. I, I'm fine with it. Uh, so, we need to know the danger of of having your, you know, your pussy raped. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know the danger. Yeah, I, I, I don't know the dangers. But I, 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 just, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need I can't. I didn't understand. <laughs> you shouldn't like, know the danger. This is going too far for me. What do you mean? We need He's pussies? Like this. Yeah, I think yeah. we should I, have. I, we don't need. Put, I, I can understand everything. I can understand women's logic. I can understand no, as it. well as the fucking choice that you have to make when you have a child that you now you have to give this painful fucking you know birth, and now you, you know like you you can't really go to work in the same way. You can't really build your career in the same way based on the society we in. Those two things, and I think that we're gonna be able to fully connect and understand and not have as many issues. I can't wait. No, no, we don't flips. need pussies. For and that. then we I can c- fuck ourselves. I would love to flips. take my penis till like the um the uh the society changes hey, and I could be a stand at the scram. He, he calling me, bro, and give birth. Scram calling? Yeah, I yeah, would yeah. you if you had a pussy, you could fuck your own pussy. Would you? No, suck? I mean, so that's, that's the, the other, I, that's the third piece. It wouldn't let you though. I don't need. I don't God need a would, pussy. To God understand, wouldn't let you um, fuck your own pussy. What women go through, and you can stick in your butt. Listen, I talk a lot of shit. Gotta have pussy. I, mean, I say what? a lot of chauvinist <laughs> shit on this podcast because I'm just I just sometimes just like to say dumb shit. But I understand your plight and I understand what you're going through. I understand how you feel. I get it, but I don't need a vagina. To have you ever like? Have you, you need ever a like, vagina, bro. You need, I, I think I disagree. I think you need a vagina. Have you, you ever kind of no, like I'm wiggled good. your butt, like on your knees, around your, back your, your knee. a little bit? Let's so just, listen, if I want a fucking <laughs> vagina, I would go to the fucking fish market. I know, I know how we can make Jaren a feminist. Let's just keep talking about having vaginas, and he's going to be marching with a pussy hat. I would be on I, the I, women's I, march. I, I, listen. I grew up my mom. I grew up with a single mom and shit, and 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 aunts. That doesn't I, show. I, I get it, Kyle. I get it. Have you ever like wiggled your dick around your butthole a little bit? No, actually. Oh, yeah, that's what I've you're never doing. done a, but, a butthole wiggle. Is this a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was curious because you were talking about. I, I would imagine Max has because he's <laughs> yeah. done for pretty no. much everything under the sun that he could do with his genitalia. I would imagine. <laughs> oh no! no. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> Jaren's getting upset. No, I, I look. I, no, I, I haven't. I'm, I'm just talking that from shit, a. Poli- I'm talking about this from a I'm social like, you know, standpoint. I've been playing with bro. it and been like, huh? But like, I haven't like actually. If we could fuck ourselves, we wouldn't have to, men wouldn't have to ra- get out and rape at the same levels. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. I think mm. rape's a weird thing. I don't. Yeah, think yeah, rape, it's not like rape, a- rape is not a man. Rape is some weirdo shit. Like, no, I have. I've never. Uh, been it's not something men do. The, <laughs> it's, 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 listen, it's something. No, I, hey, I almost got raped by a fucking woman. So okay. It's honestly it just count. not a, a fucking man thing. Yeah, a fucking bitch tried to rape me. But anyway, right. um, <laughs> should we just cut this episode? No, no I think this is no, really. Keep, no, I'm dead. Yeah, a bitch tried to fucking. You talking about real shit? Facts. I fuck with it. Dead ass facts. Um, hmm. but no, that rape shit is is like some serial killer shit. I don't ever in my life. I've never been so horny to where I felt like I want to go rape a fucking female. Like that's so. That's some serial killer shit. Man. What about rape it's fantasy? That's a thing. Like I don't rape, have rape fantasies. I've never no, had never. rape fantasy. I've had women that want me to act like I'm raping them. That's what I'm talking. That's what I was talking about. What about I don't that? have the fantasy. I'm just doing it because they want it. But did you enjoy it? Like f- from a different perspective, was there extra like energy no, going not into really. it? Really? I mean, like I've had like like the rough shit, but it's like it's really enveloped in like a. <sighs> this is gonna sound snowflakey, perhaps, but like in a safe space kind of thing. <laughs> oh god! God, I can't even believe that came you out of my safe, mouth. Safe space, uh, rough sex. No, rough sex? but like it's like. 
You held space for her her fantasies? No, I don't know. Like we've had like I've had like intense like you know roughness or whatever and mm. enjoyed it. But like it was a different thing because like it was so embedded that it was like consensual. I get it. That it like, but I've never had a, a rape. I had a. Know? I was seeing this dominatrix that I met at a um, at a rap show, and <laughs> she uh, she would flog me, uh, but not consensually. Like I was, <laughs> I was trying to like bang her right, and she was super weird. Like she would cry, and then be like. I'm going to be a hooker now. Like she was really crazy, but I was like, I kind of want to fuck her. So I kept hanging out with her. And, um, and towards the end, <laughs> she was flogging me pretty hard. Oh, what's flogging? Like, yeah, what is hitting, flogging? like uh, hitting me with like, uh, one of those little whips with like a bunch of little tassels like, on it. Uh, kind of oh, yeah, like yeah. a leather pom pom, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, uh, she just kept While hitting you were me with it. No, we never even fucked. I was just trying to have sex with <laughs> Where her. Was she I would have hit that bitch. In the, I was like this, like, ah, like, I was like <laughs> and she would just be like, you like that, don't you? And I was like, I don't like that. You Please like it. stop. And uh, I never got to have sex with her, but I, I kept trying. She would make me That's good dinners. That, she assaulted you, bro. She did assault me. I was terrified. That's fucking was, assault. <laughs> yeah, but you came back. Uh, n- not after the flogging. The flogging that was, was kind of like... Straw. That was yeah. I was kind of like... That was <laughs> Yeah, that was the <laughs> last. I don't like getting whipped, but uh, <laughs> it wasn't my thing. I thought I would, you know, when you ever think like... I'm yeah. not into that shit no, either. I'm, like, into being the, I'm into being the dominant one. I don't want to. I don't. I'm I am too. Yeah, like I am bitch too. Just hit me back once or twice. I'd be like, stop that shit. No, I'm I, not even the dominant. I remember she, the girl who flogged me, tried to get me to spank her, and I was like spanking her like look. Michael Sarah would. I was just like, <laughs> no, no, I, I'm barely <laughs> touching her. <laughs> no, I like a, I like to spank. I like to dominate. Uh, I like to have my butt a little tickled, which is nice. But I don't I, like none of my no little tickles. I like to. You, did you get that more in Mexico? Mexican women like love to, the butthole. There, it's a thing at times, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's weird, yeah, yeah. Great. Actually, well, serve and so, protect. They're like, okay. so does Mexican men. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll talk about it. So, there was a girl who uh, I matched with on Tinder. I remember Max telling y'all me, y'all niggas get pegged, don't y'all? <laughs> I remember Max telling me, he's like, yo, this chick, she was like really trying to, she was, she was rimming, she was on some rim shit, right? And I was like, oh, where? This girl that he had talked about that he had matched. And then apparently, I didn't find out, but I, I kissed this girl, right? Same girl, uh, I didn't know it was her. That bitch rim. I didn't uh, know it was her, bro. Wait, I didn't know this. She, she yeah, I made she's... out with her and shit. And then I realized I was when we became Instagram friends that Max is her Instagram friend. I was uh, like, that was fucking her. That was <laughs> Let's go! Hey, yeah. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something disgusting too, man. I was on tour one time. I ain't saying these dudes' names. They're pretty famous. Um, and uh, we had this chick on the bus. I was late on the bus. I didn't come on the bus. And then um, this chick, she was still on the bus, and we was kicking, and we was chilling, and she was like into me. And I brought her into my bunk. I ended up fucking her, but I kissed the bitch. Oh, what up, man? This the Scram really- Man, Mister Scram Man. <laughs> yes. So Jerry was telling us about the time he made out with a chick that had just sucked your dick, I think. Seven dicks. Including Scram. Uh, Scram was not on that tour. Uh, okay. <laughs> but did what? you then like have to look these dudes in the face? I'm also, yeah, everybody, <laughs> everybody, made, everybody made fun of me. It was horrible. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> Yeah. But this, I mean, it, it happened to all of us. Like yeah, everybody, yeah. I, it, it happened to every single person that was talking shit. So it's a rite of passage. And, what yeah, happened? I also say this: that chick, she must have been pregnant. I was so paranoid because, um, you know, I was sucking her titties and shit, and I was milk tasting breast milk. Oh, and it, I start. I was so annoyed. Like I, I'm a annoyed person with STDs. So it tasted start, like breast milk. Yeah, it was definitely breast milk. She did. She had breast milk. Oh, nice. Someone said that's the easiest way to get AIDS is through breast milk. What? That's, that sounds accurate. like some fucking QAnon shit, bro. Literally can you look that up? Can I'm, you looking, get, I'm looking. Can you get up. AIDS from breast milk? I really doubt it. Scram? Everybody knows that. Uh, bro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scram, what up, man? What up, though? That nigga smoking the last weed. That, that weed, he been, he been struggling with that weed, holding on that shit for the whole week because you can't get no more. Huh? <laughs> why? 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 Because hey, no. <laughs> yeah, you broke. You broke AT and T. <laughs> what up, though? Chilling, man. We uh... how much you spend on weed a week? How much? Yo, uh, uh, okay. <coughs> Damn, lately, bro. I haven't been spending any. Uh-oh, what would you say you normally spend on weed? Usually, three hundred. Okay, you, you owe me money, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It was a bad connection. <laughs> oh, wow. Y'all were right. You can get AIDS through breast milk. The moms really? pass that shit to their kids through That's breast milk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're getting scientific. You I thought it. the same thing when I fucking, when they told me and I started doing research, I was like, no way. Did you make yourself throw up? The breast milk? No, I didn't do all that bullshit, but I just... You like, can get don't... hepatitis B from breastfeeding. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, breast gonorrhea, is, uh, chlamydia. Gonorrhea? Yep. Genital breast... herpes yeah. from sipping breast, breast milk. milk. Yep. Wait, what? Yeah. Patrice O'Neill had that story where he was hooking up with a girl and he said he was sucking on her titties and a little bit of milk came out and he was like, what the fuck? And she was like, oh, sorry, I had a miscarriage last week. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he was I... like... Wow. Wow. I bet that's I I couldn't even fuck it after that. Wow. It's on her Tinder profile. <laughs> Grant, what's up, man? What you been up to? Man, <laughs> trying to catch up on rest. We just shot a video with Bubba yesterday. Oh, yeah, for free? Because you uh, owe me money. Yeah, for free. <laughs> Bubba don't charge me. Oh, okay. Well, man, you know, I, gotta, I thought I you gotta, had somebody, I had, to somebody had to pay the video, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, the video dude got paid, though. You paid him? Nah. Oh, okay. Just saying, because you owe me money. You got an investor. <laughs> <laughs> Are you and uh, Morgan Whalen doing a project together, Scram? He gave me an EBT card and was like, "Don't max it out." <laughs> are you doing? A, are you doing a, a project with Morgan Whalen, Scram? I don't know who that is. Oh, oh damn. he's not even. He was the dude, the country singer who you know. Scram is more black than uh, white. Yeah, Scram. <laughs> Scram's. Are you? Do you have more black friends or white friends, Scram? White. <laughs> But I have black friends that act semi-white like Jaron, too. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Jaron is... He I'm well cultured. He's an articulator. He articulator. Yeah. That's such. That's so racist. That is very racist. That. He speaks so well. He's very articulate. <laughs> like, bitch, what the fuck you expect me to hey, talk like? That, hey, that is when a compliment can be taken as racist. Yeah. When compliments go wrong. Hey, I had a bitch say some racist shit, but she was so old, it's like I couldn't even, I was offended, but I was like, I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> I was with my kids, was real little. We were in a fucking Target, and it was this old lady. The bitch, like, she was about to die the next day. You gave her an age like, pass. And she was like, hey, this, she was talking to her daughter, who was with and she's like, oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Look at those little, like little monkeys. Scram, you shot a... <laughs> Jesus Christ. That, 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 that was long. Yeah, I know. It's just funny. You went right past that. I was like, oh, Swear to God. Oh, Swear to God. On my, on my children's life, that's what the bitch said. And I was like, yo, shit. When compliments go wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She's, she's too old for me to flip out. I think Max is smarting because he may have made, 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 made a gorilla comment recently. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're going to move on. Um, well... <laughs> I think, you know, but what do you think? Like if a white person throws out that type of a reference, is it like some racism that was like that's deep inside there that they don't know? And they wasn't trying to let it, but sometimes the shit just takes out. Sometimes no, racism just not, fucking not jumps that. out, bro. Not, but not what I was saying. That, that sounded like a slip up. Like she had some internal shit going on. She was so old, <laughs> though. Like, I think that she say that type of shit. I mean, were the kids like, jumping up and down and like climbing on stuff? No, they just they were, okay. my kids are fucking. Cool no, I'm just kids, but, like because like, I could see that right. And no, like, that kids baseball. were fucking. Yeah, my kids was, it was mad. Nobody was running around and doing okay. shit. Then yeah, they was just with me. But I think that she might have just thought in her mind something cute, and then her fucking slave master ancestor hijacked it, exercised was, some shit exactly. out. Yeah, it, it just slipped fucking out. Fucking monkeys just came out of her. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, I like little monkeys. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> like, damn, bitch. Racing tits. <laughs> Racing tits. Racing tits. We should have called it. Yeah, I was like, man, this lady so old. How old were you, Jaren, when that happened? This is when my kids was little. I, this is like my children had to been like, my my daughter had to been at least like 10. My son was like mad little. Damn. Would you, you say something to her? Nah, she was too old, man. I, I, I felt, I heard it and I was like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> old people depend on how far an old person go i give them the pass that they like super old like what you what you going to do you anyway only time i would do something is if i did have i had a crazy incident where a guy cried at qt um what's qt I was, quick trip gas quick trip. station so i was walking in the gas station with my daughter she had to be like maybe 10 at the time and um when i was walking in it was this guy coming out he's like oh man thank you for bringing her out and I was like, what the fuck you just say? So I was just like, <laughs> immediately I just flipped out and just went into like attack mode. So I was like, what the fuck you just say? 
He's like, what? He kind of was kind of star. I was like, the fuck you just say, my nigga? I was like, you, are you, you just referring to my fucking daughter? So I'm at this time, I, I told, every time I get into it with somebody, I tell my kids to get in the car. So I was like, yo, we'll get in the car. Grab the piece. So I'm out there, and this nigga star, he goes, man. He just started tearing up. He's like, I never mean no shit like that, bro. He's like, he started breaking down. He's like, yo, I, I just got out of jail. He's like, I got kids. He was like, oh, shit. By me just getting out of jail, that was the first thing that he's like, I was feeling so hopeless. And like, I felt like I couldn't see my kids and he was just going through something. He was saying, I was just going through something to where I just felt like shit was hopeless. And me seeing your your daughter and your child was just a sign of hope. Like, yo, that made me think about my kids. And I was like, thank you for bringing it out. And I was like, oh, okay. And then you shot him? (laughs) Nah, I told, I was like, yo. I let him make his. I let him say his piece. I was like, you can't fucking tell people shit like that. I was like, what exactly you know? did you say? You brought your daughter out. He was just like, yo, thank you for bringing. He didn't say anything really offensive. Yeah. He just said, thank you for bringing her out. Was he white? I no, still. Jaren, don't you it. sound like you was just an angry black man in that moment. <laughs> what the fuck was going on with you, bro? Man. When you get it's the kids, man. I'm telling you, when kids are change you, bro. He said, kids, thank you for like, bringing your daughter out. Like on some, like she just brought me some joy because like of my child. And he was like, nigga, what the fuck did you say about my mother? No, that does sound creepy though to me too. Yeah, it hey, sound creepy. Did they say it creepily? When you have, when you no, it don't matter. When you have kids, you understand it. Like I don't. Anytime play when someone talks to you at a gas station, it's a little creepy. Fair yeah. enough. It sounds like you, my initial thought is they're going to ask me for money somehow. You know what I mean? So may, I thought the end of the story was going to be like, yeah, I was in jail. I need money, bro. Yeah. Nah, nah, he was. He, he broke down. He was like, he was fucked up. And I believed him because like the way he broke down and the way she was saying, I was like, yo, you can't. I just changed my thoughts. I was like, bro, you can't. I was like, I get it. You was giving a compliment, but people don't know how to take shit like that. Like when they got children, like yeah, men are mad. I'm mad overprotective of my kids. Like, so. I mean, answer. first off, you really shouldn't even speak about no strangers' kids Thanks. anyway because of all the crazy motherfuckers out there. You never know. Like, he, he could have went and sat in his S10 and jerked off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Scram, do you have kids? Uh, I do. I have a daughter. How old is she? Scram know what I'm talking about. She's 13, Uh, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> 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 We're gonna have to do a damn a Wednesday for that we one. Gotta, hey, we gotta bring <laughs> we gotta bring Ayana to fucking fix my life for that one. <laughs> Excuse me? Y'all don't know who Ayana fix my life is? No. Uh-uh. I don't oh, either. Fuck. Oh, you gotta watch the episode. Awana 5 0. Her name is Ayana. Ayana. She was like Oprah's homegirl, and Oprah gave her own show where she like she would meet people, go to people's, if, if, if your family or someone in the family has a problem, she would go there and try to fix it. And she had DMX and she was trying to fix DMX and his son's relationship. I thought she was going to say she took DMX with her to fix somebody. I was like, <laughs> hey, Yo, camera's about to die. Oh, this one isn't though. What the fuck? I know. All right. Well. If y'all had the all new MacBook Pro 13 inch retina display, then y'all might be all right over there. But <laughs> That's a new computer screen? Man, you know how we do, man. Yeah, man. You owe me it's a little refurb- money. It was refurbished, but Kenny Bartow told me I needed to get the one with a um a different processor built in it for the studio. So we got it directly from Apple, though. But and I got you know I got uh what what's it called, baby? Where they take care of the shit if you fuck it up. Apple Care. Apple Care. Is that is that your uh, girlfriend, fiance, wife? Who is that? <laughs> Damn near fiance. Damn near. <laughs> Why not Intr- introduce your fiance to the uh, to the to the world, man? She said, "Hell no, not till she <laughs> she's ready." Wait, Scram. Hi. She said, "Hi, hi though." Hey, what up? Yo, Scram. Uh, so you just made a, a music video for one of your songs uh, featuring Bubba Sparks? Uh, yes, yeah, my group, No Brainer, man. Oh, that's dope. And okay. they call them that because they never get head. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who else in the group? It's just uh me and B Huck. Uh he's from Queens, New York. He's a beast on the mic, East Coast shit. Where? Um L- lyrics, you know, shit like that. For all did we he, know, he could he, be getting he, head yeah, right Tim now. <laughs> all we heard was a couple of garbled words from his know, girlfriend right? in the back. <laughs> a she down there, she down there juggling his balls. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Uh, this is how we do. We like to coax people to get in front of the camera, so we have to talk yeah. shit. Hey, Darren, remember Lindsay's... when I bumped into your girlfriend at the gas station when I was buying blunts? Oh, yes. Graham tried to hit on my kid's mom. No, uh, I didn't. I was talking. I heard her talking. Wait, I heard her talk. How? What happened? Somebody called me Scram or something. She was like, 
are you are you scram like friends with Jared or some shit like that? That shit was random as fuck. How did you and right, your girl meet? Talk, talk. He she I told her bitch. I mean, Joss, I'm too tipsy. I'm about to cut this short. You're still no, no, drinking. No, no. Yeah, hell yeah. Come on, scram, let's go. I'm back on. I'm back off. I'm off the wagon. Oh, that's the cheap Somebody, stuff. Yeah, he's on the special oh, yeah. shit. He spent all his money on his kids. See, that's a nice Shut guy. Up. He spent all his Shut money up, on his uh, kids' computer. Now he's drinking plastic bottles. Plastic of vodka. hooch. <laughs> Shout out to Dimrick, man. What Dimrick a good guy. Here, he's a drunk, but he's a good one. He had me in a strip club, man. Demrick was going in, so shout out to Demrick. Oh, I heard oh, yeah. that song that y'all did. It's really good, man. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. I was Some dude with it. put a comment like, hey, man, you diss King Von? I was like, no, nigga. How, how's it a diss? <laughs> Stupid fuck. Wait, what's the song called? Before I Wait. Yeah, Before I Wait. I that shit was good, Von. man. King Von is the shit. He was. R.I.P. Video's coming out for that <laughs> next week, right? Hey, Scram. Let me... Yo. uh. What kind of what, what sports team you got on that hat, man? Man, come on, bro. Uh, you, I was just checking, making sure. Think about it. Oh, uh, yeah, you know I'm Braves, Falcons, Hawks, everything. You put uh, money on I'm this. I'm Braves, season. Falcons, Hawks, Tiger. What's Tiger? Nigga, Woods. Like, nigga, Woods. The uh, golf. The golf. Golf. The golf. golf. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, have y'all seen the Tiger Woods documentary on? HBO? I hate it. I hate I it. I haven't seen it yet. It's I hate how they jerker. did him, man. It's yeah, a tear jerk. It's a, if it you ever bad. told me I would cry watching the Tiger Woods TV show, never would have thought. I mean, I wasn't balling, but I <laughs> I'm about to get some fucking Thai beef jerky, bro. Did you cry? You broke I teared down. up. You teared up. <laughs> I used to tear up at the uh, sports center stuff, like when they would help the Make a Wish kids or like some special oh, needs yeah. kids who gets to play basketball one time or football. I get a little emotional too. Uh, Oh, you hell know some yeah. Shit I teared up at, man. you're a good motherfucker, that's why. Right. <laughs> when my daughter was little, I took her to see a Hannah Montana movie, and that shit had me tearing up. Did what? It? Wait, wait, yeah, what? I, yeah. I cried on. I cried that's... at the end of E.T., and I cried when the Braves traded Dale Murphy. <laughs> Other than that, Dale I Murphy, had to man. shed a tear. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I cried at Dirty Dancing to Havana Night. <laughs> <laughs> That's the move. Oh, that's how we should open. Hey, how show. dope was that soundtrack though? The first I've days. never I've been... time of my life. Time of my life slaps. Oh yeah, time of hey. my life. That shit's still jamming. Hey, the whole shit slaps though. Be my hey. baby, all that shit. You know what, man? Did y'all niggas used to watch that movie Mannequin? <laughs> no, no, I never seen it. You never seen Mannequin? No. <laughs> Graham, have you seen Mannequin? No. What? It sounds like a I movie all white it. people should have seen by now. But... <laughs> Kim, Kim, Kim Cattrall was in it. It was like she was a mannequin and she came alive. You niggas never seen mannequin. Nah, I never heard of no mannequin. <laughs> I, I, seen, I saw Splash. Old, like, like, I seen Splash too. Splash? Hey, oh yeah, Splash. Splash when I was a kid when that shit was out. That shit used to freak me out when that bitch turned into that fish and you saw it like when she was in the bathtub and... Oh, flopping around and shit. Yeah. Daryl Hannah. It was kind of freaky. Yeah. Daryl Hannah, that's right. She was a dive hey, beast, bro. Back in the day. I wonder how old she is. How old is Splash? I don't know. She's old, old as fuck, fuck. bro. But I she was in um, she was in uh, fucking uh, what do you call this? The sci-fi joint. One night in what Paris. No, no, I'm talking about the. You know, she was the one of the, the fuck robots. Is that, oh, uh, what? What? Is it? She's sixty years old. Holy shit! Damn. You know it's crazy. She's on Craigslist. Blade Runner. She's in Blade Runner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's yeah. gonna she, be doing a, a, she's a Blade Runner. Yeah, she's one of the fucking robots in Blade Runner, one of the sex robots. She's just the I shit. I don't even remember that. Yeah, oh, Bubba had a song on Blade Runner. On Blade Runner, Runner 2. Oh, Blade shit. Runner 2. Yo, shout out to Daryl Hannah, bro. Come on the show. Literally. Man, crazy. Y'all niggas never seen Mannequin. Y'all niggas seen Weekend at Bernie, right? Of course. Oh, well, yeah, I fucked with Weekend at Bernie. Of course I, I watched like the, the re- recent election. Hey, Scram, how did you meet... Uh... <laughs> How did you meet Bubba Sparks? Oh, he used to be got, his hype man. Hello, to, I got put in this group. Together. Yes, I got uh, put in this group when he got his deal. Can I order, uh, please? Um, uh, pick up this nigga. Why are you going to go there trying to order Chinese and talk Chinese? Hey, I could have got you a free pizza. Yeah, I'm bro. Kyle. I'm Kyle. <laughs> can I get the uh, can I get the beef jerky? Uh, me yeah. sucky sucky. Hey, sticky rice. Yeah, yeah. Hey, tell me okay, what Domino's is supposed to be. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'll be half. How? I'll be half an hour. Okay. <laughs> he said, "Tell him what Domino's is." Supposed is that okay? Today we close at nine, so just come before nine. It's good. I'll come before nine. Thank you. 
Uh, because we have a pace control. Thank you. How, Thank much, you. how much for alcohol? <laughs> Bye. How you got free pizza, Scram? What you been doing? Hey, this is Domino's I, down the block. I just we used to do this everywhere we went. What no matter what city we were in, our roommate Chunky Trey, Bubba's boy, he used to he'd be like, Where y'all at? We'd be like, get us a pizza, Trey. And uh just to do the shit in every city, he would have Domino's. He would call up and be like, I'm real disappointed. <laughs> I <should do> that. <laughs> hey, but what the fuck is pizza insurance? Somebody please explain that shit to me. I've never, I don't, I've never heard of it. It's, uh, it's if you drop your pizza on carryout, they'll give you a new pizza. Oh, I thought it was like if it burned your face off, you get paid. Somebody else to drop a lot of pizzas for that to make Bro, it. I got to get a pizza. <laughs> fuck this shit. I'm I need a pizza. I just hey, ordered Jared, the fucking Jared, cool beef jerky. Hey, what, give me the number to the Domino's close to you. I'll get it. Yeah, right. go ahead. Let's see if Put it on Justin. speakerphone so we can hear the Let's whole see thing. Let's hey, All right. All right. Question for Wait, you. first, let me give you the address so you're ready. You I'm want to write to this down? Fucking, I'm about to drive to Fellini's. Hey, yo, Scram. You're not driving to Scram Fellini's. Scram had an interesting uh, story to tell us, yo. Did you really steal crab legs from Diddy? Yes. No. No, it, was, no, it wasn't crab legs. It was... um. <laughs> It was crawfish because it was when the Super Bowl was in New Orleans. Break the story down, bro. So uh, so Bubba was in, in the Rock and Jock football game, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember them shits. Mm-hmm. I think it's like 04 or some shit. <clears throat> but um, so there was this private party and uh, we had our own little shit, you know, and they were giving us like the New Orleans experience or whatever, which, you know, they can keep that shit, really. <laughs> but, uh, but um. I mean, you know, whatever. They can keep the Saints, too. Shit. <laughs> but, uh, Fuck the Saints. Yep. <laughs> right? <laughs> FTS. <laughs> but um, so they, they gave us this big bus pan. You know how, like, when people bus tables, the, the shit they bring to the table? Yeah. So they had these bus pans filled up with crawfish. And uh, somebody talked, because I'm a real picky eater. I was watching. Yo, uh, this nigga is so picky. I'm, this nigga eat like he's fucking six. <laughs> if you know when you eat like pasta and shit in my head, to, he don't want chunky sauce. Like I've never heard. I've never heard that. I, don't, I don't want chunky Damn, sauce. Like, we eat spaghetti. Sticks? Where we where we eat spaghetti? At? Sometimes I don't fucking. It was like pizza and shit like that. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, like, sauce like, chunky is the sauce chunky. Oh wait, yeah, I don't fuck with chunky sauce. Wait, we getting off track. I want to hear this Diddy <clears throat> thing. What happened? That sounds like a rapper though, chunky sauce. But um, so uh. So I like these shits, right? I tried them, you know, I was trying to, you know, I didn't want to be the only motherfucker not eating crawfish at Diddy's party and shit. So I'm like, God damn. Then they're like, bite the head off and shit, right? So I'm like, shit is getting worse and worse. So I did it and I liked it. So I went on a little spree, man. I was proud of myself. I tried something new and I liked the shit. Kept eating them, kept eating them. And they're like, let's go. And we had a whole bus fan for it. Black Rob, hey, Black Rob tried to sell us weed. Like a nick or some shit. I was like, damn, did he do it like like a nigger. Yeah, Yeah, that's what I heard too. I heard like a nigger. I was like, whoa, "Whoa." damn, scram. I was like, whoa. He tried to sell a nickel bag. Hey, Diddy had just bought him a two way too. He had just got his two way. His two way pager. No idea what. Oh look, hey, we pranked Fat Joe on the two way pager one day. (laughs) You're all over the place with the story, man. (laughs) No, right. (laughs) Right. So get to the point where you steal the shit. Okay, so I take the bus pan. We all had limos waiting and shit. So the limo driver knew I was with Bubba. So he jumps out and, and he goes, and, oh, he's like, let's put him in the trunk. Being super black, cool. Black, black. Yeah, black dude. <laughs> I was like, here, man, you can take a couple of them. Let's clean <laughs> us, though. Let's clean us. So, um, so we get in and Bubba's like, God damn, man, man, damn. And I was like, it is what it is, man. It's in the trunk now. At least it ain't up here with us, right? We got a trunk. So we get back to the hotel, and we had a little hotel party. Fabulous was there. <clears throat> I had the crawfish out for everybody, and Rough Riders came in. It was like, God damn, your boy Scram's crazy, bubble. Yeah, that's dope stories. I like that story. <laughs> that's pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> can't bring Scram anywhere, type of story. Definitely you know, what I, mean? I like that. I like that. Hey, no, no, but, uh, no but the moral of the story or the ending, oh, there's a moral. <laughs> He's like, Diddy will rape you. If Something you good know. came out of it, man. Jada Kiss thought it was cool. Shit, that's all I was worried about. Fuck, Diddy. Did you get a verse from uh, Jada Kiss? Nope. <laughs> I got a sack from Black Rob, though. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, my boy Will Smith thought that shit was so cool too. But he's Real like, Smith. man, I think he called back home. Yeah, Scram like, and Will Smith best friends. Pill Smith. You say Pill? Pill? The nigga's name is Pill, Pill Smith. Smith. I love Pill that. Smith. Not Will name. Smith, but Pill Smith. <laughs> what a great name. Pill Cosby. Too I think soon. Wrap up soon, right? Yeah. Our cameras are dying. Yeah, oh, cameras are dying. Let's uh, wrap it up. Um, I just want to read a couple comments, or should we just save it for next time? Yeah, yeah, read some it. comments, man. All right. Another solid what episode. What Max got to do, man? Max and his, I can tell he's he's maxing right now. Oh, yeah, he's I got, got shit got going. going on, man. All right. But one second. I'll, I'll read a couple. It doesn't hurt when you pee, does it? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> one second. <laughs> he's like, already. he's just like, I just got a house in Virginia. That's it. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? I don't get it. All right. It funny, uh, John Rombus. Been watching since the first episode. Kyle's a good addition. Shout out to y'all from Canada. So we're expanding the international. Okay. Canada. Uh, Riken. Yo, yo, I don't wait, know let me shout out my man, bro. He, he gave me props. What's his name? John what? Uh, John Rombus. Rombus. Uh, Rombus. Yeah. All right, John. <laughs> no. That's Canadian. Riken TV or Riken TV. Uh, learn more about weed than I did my family. Tree. Oh, he was making a family tree joke. A tree uh, joke. Shout out to Damon. This informative ass podcast. To have what Fun Fuck Volume had is a future I'd want to see. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they was they was lit. Yeah. Um, Trey Smith. Another solid episode as always, gentlemen. We are gentlemen. Uh, Wilson R- Roy Real says. Uh, also add Cato as a guest, please. Oh yeah, yeah. Jaren. Okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll get Kato on. Most dope forever uh, had some not nice things to say about Dame. Um, what did he say? We're not going to repeat him or what? Was... Dame the snake and then about 40 snake emojis. This nigga really took his time to make 40 emojis of snakes. Well, you only have to make it once, probably. But, I got, um, uh, Wilson. His, uh... Oh, again, Wilson. So, same guy who said uh, Kato was a guest said uh, ice cream cake slaps. I've been smoking that shit out in Oregon by the blunt. I just got to peep X's and O's and enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, Scram, have you tried ice cream cake weed? I haven't, but I would. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, uh, a Boogie Raps says, uh, what do you have your thermostat stats to, Jaren? It looks cold in your spot. Oh, yeah. I, you know what? I, I don't know if I explained this on a podcast before. This new spot, if the heat is on, it gets so fucking hot. And I, I put the heat 69. It's hot as fuck. It's like there's no in between in this motherfucker. No matter how cold it is outside, so I keep the AC on. So I'd rather the be AC. cold and hot. Yeah. I'd rather be cold than hot too, because you can always warm up. But sweating, I'd rather yeah. be hot and naked. Later. <laughs> AC later up in this bitch. Hey man, hey, rest in peace to Screech, man. Oh yeah, Dustin Diamond. Died. Yeah, you know that Screech died last week. Yeah, Dustin Diamond caught oh, one. Man. Is this your only connection to the outside world, Scram? Um, yeah, yeah. Nope. I mean, I know <laughs> that nigga was house. It looks like you're that. in a nuclear holocausting <laughs> shit. Yeah, man. that nigga living in fucking storage unit. <laughs> you think uh, you know, but you have no idea. Uh, this is the diary of Anne Frank. Oh, oh my god! Oh, wow. <laughs> and we're wrapped up. Yeah. Yo, thank, thank you guys y'all. so much. All right, later. Appreciate hey, you, Scram. Scram, man. Thanks for listening. Sweating like a motherfucker.